Hello, Mike Hartman. This looks familiar to you, I'm sure. Uh, this side being off, it looks exactly like, well, not exactly like when you were here because we have done a number of things here. We have cut all the rod out of this member and also the transom bow member. You will see that we actually added a layer here. This is built out of two layers to start with. So, and that's how they got the bend. And so we, and got to bend easily. So we cut off uh, right here. You can see a joint between this side and, uh, uh, and the new piece. Uh, and, uh, and let's see if I can shed a little light on this with my, with my cell phone light. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to shed a little light on that, and you can see the joint. All right, and then uh, what we did then was oversize the gusset that went uh, back in place. Um, th there's a smaller gusset here originally, but we went with the larger gussets, like you see right here. Um, they were using larger gussets on these, so we just basically copied that, went back here with that. And now, of course, you see the entire transom removed. Uh, we had to do the same thing for rod over here in this frame uh, as we did over on the other. Larger gusset again. You know, we have the heel repaired as well. Let me see if I can uh, shed some light on this. Okay. Keel is repaired. All the rods are removed from the keel. And we've got a new sack of wood back here. So that's all repaired. That rod's gone. Um, the, uh, like I mentioned, the treatment on the other side was the larger gusset with the same thing here. As you recall, this uh, plywood panel that was right here, um, we had uh, some rot right at the very top, right back here at the corner. And then guess what? We found rot up here as well. And on the structure also, uh, up here. So you can see the repair we made back here. How we repaired that. We have uh, the vinyl, the bundle of vinyl, uh, four yards of vinyl here for the back and then also uh, for up on the front. But you can also see where we made a joint with some new mahogany right here. This is inch and a quarter or inch and a half, inch and a quarter thick mahogany. It comes all the way down the side of this boat. And it was rotted on the end. I've got. I can show you uh, that piece that we took out. The other thing we did was so we ran a, a moisture meter, basically we over the entire hull, and we found some 30 plus moisture content in several places. And so we've been investigating those. Uh, we're 28. So these places where the blue tape is is where the moisture was substantially higher than everywhere else on the on the uh, on the boat so we ended up with some 30 plus here uh, we did we haven't fully investigated that we did find, find some 30 plus moisture content here and we've got a hole all the way up to the bottom of this uh, of the cap rail so if you look at my finger here whoop, look at my finger here that's a crude method of measuring but it goes in I'm touching the bottom of the vinyl. So we got some investigation to do right there. This had been filled with a Bondo. Uh, that wasn't us. Uh, we, uh, you know, that was not an issue when I worked on it seven years ago. Uh, there was no issue here. So we're going to be investigating what this is. We're going to take this rub rail off here and uh, investigate that further. We also found some high moisture right here uh, right by the cut water so we've got some high moisture up here um, that we're going to address uh, curiously up here on the decks oh yeah you're gonna love this so yeah we're finally uh, getting into the original scope of the project uh, which was uh, uh, you know working on the decks up here so uh, so anyway uh, so we're looking at the decks and surprisingly uh, I think they've got rot that shows on the underneath side that's about underneath where my finger is and of course uh, we had rot showing on the underneath side all the way through here you can see we're back we've got a hole through it right there and uh, so we're getting this guy pulled up and pulled off and we're going to be investigating it 
um, and correcting it. So uh, the other place we found some high moisture, uh, 30 plus moistures, and you can see how uh, all the little woodpecker holes uh, that's uh, we're finding, at least on the surface, we're finding some rot there. Um, so uh, we're working all the areas. Uh, we even had rot. This is an area that I'd repaired before, and we've got some high moisture, not rot. I didn't mean to say rot. We've got some high moisture right here. That seven-year-old patch surely is not, uh, and I think that was the picture where you saw the gray hair little man working on it, which turned out to be me. Uh, we got a little high moisture here. Uh, we had high moisture here, but didn't find anything. And, of course, this is the spot that was filled with, uh, with, uh, Rot, rot, and filled with uh, epoxy when we first got the boat. So, uh, at any rate, um, that's the uh, that's the progress. I know Jariah is uh, is now uh, moving ahead with uh, moving ahead with the uh, uh, upholstery. So, um, let's see what else is new. Uh, that's about it. Um, oh, the uh, the. Uh, we're waiting to put these parts on right here until we get the um, the plywood. Uh, it's going to be a little easier to put the plywood on and uh, and be able to cut it smooth with this uh, with this frame right here. And then we'll bring the side panels over the side of the of the plywood. So it's just going to save us a little bit of time so uh, to do it that way. So that's your uh, video update for the week of what is the week of this? Is the uh, this is the ninth, so eighth week of October seventh. Thank you, sir. Bye. Oh, and you can see a little woodpecker working right here. Uh, we got some rot right here, but that's all seems to be on the surface. So, at any rate, um, just wanted to fill you in, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.